Hello and welcome to today's Daily Think Share. So Alyssa and I have been in a real estate course uh, yesterday and it's going to complete today from 12 to 5. It's a first time home buyers course where we learn pretty much all the steps that are involved in buying property. And one of the interesting things which we didn't think they would try to teach in here is, is budgeting. So they kind of explained, you know, if you have $5,000 coming in monthly, where should the $5,000 go? How much should be saving? How much should be towards rent and housing? What are banks looking for when you're, they're lending to you? What do they want to see for your spending habits? And uh, we're both really proud. We kept, she kept saying things and we kind of look at each other and smile just because we're kind of already ahead of the game on some of those things. We've been saving, as we've been staying with my in-laws, her parents, we've been saving about 2000 per month and we've been really good about budgeting. So at the beginning of every month, we slash end of month, we have a budget meeting. We <clears throat> sit down, we look at our bank account, and we look to see have we spent what we wanted to spend, where we wanted to spend it. So for example, did we spend more on gas, groceries, phone bills, um, our, our monthly date? Did we spend what we wanted to on those? And if so, has that become a problem? And so what goals do we need to set for next month? I think the problem a lot of people have budgeting is they set unreasonable goals for themselves. So for anyone out there that's trying to save money, you've been having a hard time, this is what you wanna do. This is how we started. First, write down your income. And for maybe three months or so, just write down how you spend your money. Come up with categories, maybe it's transportation because you drive and you take the bus or you take the train, um, have there be groceries slash food, um, have like guilt, a guilt-free area of like, you know, just you want to buy a new pair of sunglasses, you want to eat out, you want to get a hamburger at McDonald's. Um, if you have a tendency of eating out like for lunch and dinner, have a certain category for that. So what you want to do is just get an idea of what your spending is. And if you want to make changes, either if you're a cold turkey person, just state your goals in your budget and say, I'm not gonna eat out at all this this week or this month. Um, or if you're the type of person that likes to ease their way into things, set slower goals. So say, instead of spending $100 on eating out, I wanna spend 75 or 50. So we've been doing this now for I think like 17 months or so, and we've saved a couple, couple ten thousands of dollars towards our house and we're pretty close to what we think will be a down payment on a duplex. We're really excited because we want to have positive cash flow from owning a house and having someone rent in it. And uh, yeah, we're working on becoming financially free. This is one of our first steps. We'll, uh, I'll share much more of, of buying a house as it as it happens and, and as it progresses. So in the comments below, uh, have you budgeted before? If you have, have you had difficulties with it? I'd love to answer questions because uh, I know that we've really gotten it to work for us. And um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want more, subscribe. And that's all for today. Stay weird.